there. It's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today, we have more bad, the color purple press to get into that is overshadowing the plummeting ticket sales uh, for this movie slash musical uh, because ever since the start... Ever since this press run re began, it was, you know, Oprah talking about how the studio that gave the budget for $100 million uh, wanted preferred Beyonce or Rihanna because they felt that that was going to put people in the seats at the movie theater and that the other cast members had to audition there were certain people that uh, Oprah had fought for to be in the movie who still had to audition and uh you know then taraji of course has the infamous meltdown with gail king talking about how you know she is underpaid she has not had a pay raise in in several years now and basically said that both her and i think even fantasia said as well they almost didn't do this movie because the money wasn't right the paycheck wasn't right at all and they felt they were getting paid pennies basically to do the amount of work required in trying to do a remake there's already pressure there and the pressure of the success of this being on broadway recently so you know not only was the money not right also the working conditions were not right so daniel brooks has come out as well uh with oprah on the panel and it's just it's so embarrassing oprah she's like looking off to the side trying to put her head down because this reflects on her all of this negativity reflects on her so daniel brooks reveals that they didn't have dressing rooms they didn't have food and that had oprah not called taraji p henton uh they wouldn't have never got it and they're like and they tried to like you know sweeten it up like oh you know well you know once oprah called taraji you know everything was straight no 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 oprah knows how hollywood works oprah knows what is a good set what is a bad set uh, you know what accommodations are appropriate which accommodations are inappropriate oprah is a billionaire you guys and not only that taraji said that uh they were trying to make her get a rental car in atlanta and those of you who live in atlanta those of you who have ever driven through atlanta it is no fun and taraji was saying that would have been a liability that would have been an insurance liability because if something happened or her stuff got stolen because i guess they said that there's like an increase in people getting uh carjacked and, and stuff getting stolen these days out of their vehicles you know that's even more of an issue and so she said she had to fight uh you know to get out of the rental car situation and have a car you know basically have a driver like it is just crazy every day there is a no negative story about the color purple and the horrible working conditions and a lot of people are comparing the working conditions of the color purple compared to uh the barbie movie because it was the same studio that was used and it was night and day and this is what i mean you know yes it's great sometimes for some of our own to uh no pun intended to the own network but to have you know the resources and the means to finance these projects to be in the same room as a lot of these executives and in the upper elite of, a ho of hollywood and all the things but if you're not overseeing to make sure that the cast of a remake that you were in is not having the right accommodations is not having the right type of pay is not having you know the right resources to safely get themselves to work without having to worry about any liabilities not getting fed not having food not having their own dressing room to have their own privacy and get ready with their team and all the things to you know review their lines in private to maybe potentially have a private restroom as well not having to share a restroom with the entire cast like these are just basic things that should be in place as a famous actress and don't tell me oh so and so and so and so they haven't paid their dues uh taraji has been in this business for how long now this is an oscar nominated actress let's not act brand new you guys let's not act brand new this isn't somebody who's just new on the scene who needs to you know go through the trenches before they can get any acknowledgement no this is a real problem this is a real problem and i think a lot of people are turned off 
are very much turned off to the point they don't even want to bother with the movie now. And where is Monique? I need to find where Monique is because I know she is cackling at all of this. Because she exposed all of this. She exposed how cheap, allegedly, that Oprah is, as well as Tyler Perry. That they don't want to come off their own pocket. They don't want to spend their own money to make sure that their cast, that their top stars in the movie that they're supposed to be promoting so butts can be in the seats at the theaters, have the best working environment, have the appropriate travel accommodations, have everything in place so they're not working for free so they don't have to come out of their own pocket for stuff that is why the music industry is so janky because these new 360 deals that you have everything they take out of your deal so you may think that you signed a deal for a million or five million but they're already cutting your costs for studio time they're already cutting your costs for if you work with some big time writers and producers if you don't write your own material uh they're already cutting out from you know people that cost to do your hair and stylists and all those things there's a certain amount the label will front for the money but if you're new and trying to come up Oh, no, 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 no. They'll throw out those millions of dollar numbers out there in these articles to make you think that these people are loaded and that they are making millions of dollars and that they're getting these huge record deals. But the reality is a lot of us probably make more money than them in a regular nine to five. And that's the sad part of it all. That is the sad part of it all. And it's like, what is the point if Taraji P. Henson has been in this industry this long? And cannot get her proper due. And basically feels like she has to work like a maniac. She can't take breaks like some of these white actors and white actresses can do. That may do a movie every couple of years now. Because they're in their sunset years. And they don't have to work as hard as they did in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. Because they've made billions of dollars. And they've had negotiated in their contracts to make sure they either get a cut of the back end of the box office proceeds. Or they had a big contract to begin with to do the movie. Like $20, $30 million a movie type of deal. Right? But it is just getting completely and utterly ridiculous. And this reflects on Oprah. And I know some of you are going to be like, well, but you know, the studio, this is all Warner Brothers. They have the $100 million budget. But Oprah also is one of the producers. Which means she has influence. Which means she has money that she has put into this project as well. And ultimately, if it has to go to Oprah still for her to make the proper calls for these cast members to have these things to happen, then she's on the hook for knowing what is and isn't going on then. So Oprah is just as much culpable for all of this. That's why she is off looking to the side uh, in as Daniel's exposing all of this and Daniel's quick to correct it that, you know, oh, no, 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 Oprah didn't do anything wrong until, you know, she called Taraji and then everything was set. But Oprah knew. You're telling me she's not overseeing what's going on on the remake of the movie that she made, you know, she was part of? That's what we're doing. We're just going to completely pretend that we are Stevie Wonder, we are Ray Charles, and we don't see anything that is going on? And you wonder why your movie is flopping right now? Because of the arrogance? Because of the audacity? And I feel like Taraji feels like this is like her her breaking point. That this is it. If she doesn't expose this now, then it's over. Right? But uh, now more people, more cast members are speaking up and speaking out that this isn't okay. That that basically they were treated like, like nothing. Like, they were basically treated like they were homeless. They were basically treated like they were homeless, that they were somebody off the street. They didn't know whether or not they could act or not. And they gave them the same type of accommodations. Like, oh, you don't need a dressing room. You don't need a place to use the restroom. You don't need to uh, have a driver here to take you back and forth to work and all this traffic. You need to get here regardless. Regardless if you can drive, regardless of the Atlanta traffic, who cares? And, you know, paying people pennies before Oprah had to get involved, before Taraji had to let Oprah know that the pay wasn't right, that the money wasn't right. She knew all this stuff. She knew all this stuff because if you didn't know, how are you quickly able to make it right? And and that's the drop the mic moment. If you are able to quickly just make one phone call and boom, people get a paycheck increase. 
you make one phone call boom now everybody has a dressing room you make one phone call boom now everybody has food you make a phone call boom now everybody has a driver so that they can make it safely to set and don't have to worry about insurance liability for a rental car in the event they get into an accident or somebody steals stuff from them it should have never got this way and this reflects on oprah because this is the second time that we are aware of that her name is being associated with inappropriate working conditions and promotion conditions uh, for her films that she's produced that she has her name attached to putting money towards these projects and it's just sad it is just truly sad that we're here and and the the instant karma is that the ticket sales have plummeted for this movie because there is so much bad press there is so much negativity and oprah doing damage control in the 11th hour uh with these interviews on her platform on the oprah winfrey network with daniel brooks with taraji p henson and so forth trying to smooth everything over and of course everybody talking about behind the scenes the drama with whoopi goldberg and just completely um you know not making her a part of this who stole the show in the original movie who Oprah didn't even have the decency to show up at The View to give her her flowers, but the rest of the cast did. But she was the only notable person that was absent, but you have the audacity to show up and promote the film everywhere else. Make it make sense. And then, once you saw that the people were putting two and two together, that you still don't like Whoopi, you post that uh, interview, that special from several years ago, talking about Oprah patches things up with Whoopi. No, 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 no. If things were patched up, you would have probably, you know, given her flowers. You would have probably, you know, showcased her and you would have showed up at the at the view. And there should have been we should have been hearing about Whoopi Goldberg, you know, at these, uh, you know, red carpet events promoting at these premieres. It is if she has never been a part of the movie. And that's what they get. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen, I think she's only in the movie for like five minutes, if that. And we didn't even know. Right. But uh, she has a very small cameo in the movie. Uh, so there's that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. The latest is uh, there were no dressing rooms. There was no food. Uh, there were no drivers to safely get these actors back and forth uh, to the job. Until Oprah made a call in the 11th hour to Taraji P. Henson to make one phone call and get everything sorted out. Which should have been sorted out from the start. Like the Barbie movie was. Because I'm sure there were actors on set of that movie who were not A-listers that didn't have to go through any of this. That didn't have to worry about a dressing room. That didn't have to worry about transportation to work and potentially putting their own selves in danger by driving. And not having to work, worry about all these out-of-pocket expenses. Not having to worry about how much they were getting paid, especially if they were an established actor in this industry. They didn't have any of these complaints for the barbie movie that was at the same studio as the color purple so this whole situation of trying to make you know the black actors struggle and go through the trenches and you have a black billionaire that is on you know the pinnacle that has you know the power to make sure everybody is straight to make sure everybody is good and and nothing until had she not called taraji she would have kept quiet and just left all of this foolishness continue so she knew something was up because there's no reason that you're randomly just calling um, Taraji out of the blue and asking her if everything's okay if you're not hearing word of mouth from somebody that people are unhappy. So there's that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.